Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel. For this vlog, I'm gonna share some practical tips on how you should prepare and pass an entrance exam. The tips that I'm going to share with you today is based on my personal experience when I took my college entrance exam, my civil service exam, and definitely when I took my licensure exam for teachers. And before we continue, if this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I suggest mag-subscribe na kayo kasi marami pa akong gagawing videos or educational videos tulad nito. So a reminder lang, be sure to watch until the end of this video para mas matulungan naman kita ng kapasa sa entrance exam na ititake mo. This video is divided into two. So the first five tips is how you should prepare for an entrance exam. And tip six to 10 is all about how you can pass that entrance exam. So reminder lang, wag nyong skip yung video kasi nga step by step yung tip na is share ko sa inyo ngayon. So let's start. Number one, know the exam coverage. You should always remember that entrance exams are not created the same. Some entrance exams focus on the English subject or language and some exams focus on math. Yung iba naman, naka-focus sa other different subject or learning area. Now, as an exam taker, you should really take note kung ilang items ba yung nakalaan para sa isang specific subject. For example, pwede kayong magtanong sa school kung saan kayo mag -e entrance exam kung ilang items ba yung nakalaan para sa English. Pwede din kayong magtanong kung ilang items yung nakalaan para sa science. In that way, you will know what to study and you'll be able to practice more. Kasi nga, di ba, yung mga sundalo, if pupunta sila sa gera, dapat prepared sila. Now, in your case, as an entrance exam taker, you should be prepared kung ano yung mga naghihintay sa yung questions during the exam. Number two, train your mind. Sabi nga nila, di ba, experience is the best teacher. That's why bago yung entrance exam, you should really practice in taking a test. Now, the best way to practice in taking a test is of course to have your review. Now during your review, you try answering questions and time yourself para malaman mo kung gaano kabilis o gaano katagal kang sumagot sa isang tanong. In this way, malalaman mo kung sa ang learning area or subject ka dapat mag-focus or to study more. Review is also a great way to train your mind. Now, hindi ibig sabihin na kapag nag-review ka, yung mga tanong sa review mo eh, yun na yung lalabas sa actual entrance exam. Hindi yan ang purpose ng review. The purpose of review is para maging masana yung utak mong sumagot sa mga mahahabang tanong on a limited time during the actual exam. Number three, get back to basics. Now, as an exam taker, sometimes magugulat ka lang talaga on how other entrance exams give you basic questions. Minsan hindi natin nire-review yung ating mga basic concepts on different subjects. That's why pagdating ng entrance exam, naguguluhan tayo. But getting back to basic is really important. For example, you study about the basic of the subject-verb agreement in English. Or the basic arithmetic in math. For example, addition, subtraction, how to compute percentage, fraction. Or you can also get back to basic about the general science information. You should always remember na ang pag-aaral ng basic concepts on different subjects is an advantage on your part as an entrance exam taker because this basic subject will help you understand the much complicated concepts on specific subjects. Number four, visit the exam place the day before the actual exam. Visiting the location or the place of the exam the day before the actual exam is actually really helpful. In fact, I did that when I took the licensure exam for teachers in 2017. What you're going to do is check the exact location of your classroom, kung saan kayo naka-assign. You can also check the building number or the building name. And most importantly, you check kung saan yung pinakamalapit na comfort room or CR. Just in case you're gonna use it during the actual exam. Familiarize kung saan ka dadaan from the gate to the exact location of your assigned classroom. Kasi magagamit mo ito just in case you will be late on the actual exam day. But I don't recommend na malate kayo during the actual exam day. That's a big no-no. Kasi nga, diba, during the day of the exam, all you want is a peace of mind. So dapat hindi ka talaga malate or dapat alam mo na talaga yung dadaanan mo papunta sa location kung saan ka magtitake ng exam. Number five is prepare everything a day before. Yung mga bagay na dadalhin mo during the actual exam like pencils, pens, 
calculators, snacks, extra paper, ay dapat naka-prepare na yan the day before. Also, huwag mong kalimutan na magtanong or magbasa kung ano ba yung mga allowed na items or ano ba yung mga pwede mong dalhin during the actual exam. At syempre, huwag na huwag mo rin kalimutan that most entrance exams will require you to bring the exam slips na binigay nila sa'yo before you can actually take the exam. So, most students or some students Forget about this very important thing to bring. Kaya ka, if you're taking an entrance exam, don't you dare forget or wag na wag mong kalimutan yung entrance exam slip. Also, in addition to this tip, dapat mong tatandaan na the day before the exam is not the best or the perfect time to study. At this point, dapat prepare na yung body or mind mo to take the exam the day after. So I don't advise studying an entrance exam the day before you take the actual exam. Now at this point, punta naman tayo sa five remaining tips na for sure makakatulong sa inyo to pass an entrance exam. But before that, before we continue, let me just remind you if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, I suggest you subscribe for more educational videos tulad ito. Number six, follow instructions. Maraming exam takers na ang bumagsak because they did not follow instruction. You don't want that to happen to you, so at this point, you should always remember na dapat you should follow instruction. Pag sinabing gamitin yung ball pen, you should really use that ball pen. Pag sinabing namang pencil or lapis, dapat gumamit ng lapis. At ito pa, pag sinabing shade your answer, shade your answer. Pag in circle, in circle. Pag kailangan isulat, isulat mo talaga yung sagot. So dapat talagang magbasa ng instruction para hindi kayo bumagsak. Also, kung hindi nyo naintindihan yung instruction or nakalimutan nyo, Wag na wag kayong mahihiyang magtanong sa kung sino man yung nagbabantay during the exam or magtanong doon sa proctor ninyo. Proctor? Or magtanong doon sa proctor ninyo. And of course, wag mong kalimutang isulat yung pangalan mo kasi nga marami nang bumagsak sa entrance exam kasi walang pangalan yung answer sheet nila. So don't forget about that. Number seven, read questions carefully. Questions in entrance exam demand correct answers. Kasi nga, di ba, if you really want to pass the entrance exam, you should give correct answers. Lagi mong tatandaan that most schools will only allow you to take the entrance exam once. So make sure basahin mo talaga yung tanong and give correct answers. Now, different exam questions also need different approach in answering. So the best way to get the correct answer of a specific question is to read the question very carefully and subukan mo talagang intindihin kung ano ba yung hinihingi sa tanong. Take your time in digesting the question to help you pick the correct answer. But don't forget, don't take too much time kasi nga, lagi mong tatandaan na limited yung oras during entrance exam. Number eight, the process of elimination and keywords. Multiple choice test is actually the hardest type of test. Kasi nga, diba, based on experience, when we take multiple choice tests, parang naguguluhan tayo, especially if there are four choices, parang minsan pinapalitan natin yung first instinct natin or yung first sagot natin, tapos nagiging mali tayo. So, hindi talaga madali ang multiple choice, but there's always a solution to that. Now, the best thing to do to help you find the correct answer in multiple choice is, of course, the process of elimination. You start with eliminating the two choices na sa tingin mo ay hindi related sa question. Or eliminate the choices na sure na sure kang mali. But how to know if the option is not related to the question? The answer to that is keywords. As an exam taker, you should really practice that skill in identifying important keywords in questions that will lead you to pick or select the correct option. If you see important keywords in the question and you're able to relate that to a specific option, then maybe that is the best answer. Don't hesitate. Choose that answer. Number nine, the letter C. Now, as a teacher, as an exam maker, I should know that most of the correct answers in a multiple choice test is given on letter B or letter C. But of course, hindi ito totoo sa lahat kasi nga iba-iba naman yung entrance exam. But this tip really helped me when I took my licensure exam for teachers. But disclaimer lang that this tip is actually not a proven technique. But, marami ako nabasang vlogs or napanood na vlogs that this technique, yung pagpili sa letter C when you don't have an idea on what the question is all about, ay sa tingin nila ay nakatulong sa kanila to pass the entrance exam. Actually, it also worked for me. When I took the licensure exam for teachers noong 2017, most of my answers were letter B and letter C. 
but mas marami yung letter C. So maybe letter C is really the best answer kung wala ka na talagang masagot. Again ha, uulitin ko. Choose letter C if wala ka na talagang sagot or hindi mo talaga alam yung sagot sa tanong. Another tip about letter C, if maubusan ka na ng oras, lahat ng mga tanong na hindi mo nabasa or hindi mo nasagutan, just put letter C in all those remaining questions. Don't answer random letters. Kasi nga, pag nag-answer ka ng random letters, A, C, D, B, B, C, for sure, konting-konti yung chance na, makakapa, na makakakuha ka ng tamang sagot. But, if you answer one letter to those remaining questions na hindi mo nasagutan, for sure, marami kang makukuha ang tamang sagot. Number 10, I think the most important tip that I'm going to share with you today is of course, believe in yourself. Maniwala ka sa sarili mo. No one will be there to take the exam for you. Ibig sabihin, ikaw at ikaw lang yung pwedeng mag-take ng exam na yan. Kaya, you should really, really trust yourself. After all the review and the practice that you've done, dapat kang maniwala na handang-handa ka na and you really deserve to pass the test. Work hard for it, di ba? Make it good. Focus on the question and answering these questions correctly. And in the end, sino bang maniniwala sa'yo kung mismong ikaw ay walang tiwala sa sarili mo? Diba? So that's it guys, yun yung ating mga practical tips on how you should prepare and pass an entrance exam. So if you learned something from this video, don't forget to give this a like or a thumbs up, share this video, and comment down below kung ano pa yung mga tanong nyo tungkol sa entrance exam. So this has been your friend Sir Marky. Thank you very much for watching. Laban lang. Laban lang. Laban lang.